Before we get started, we have play mats. You can go to the link below and get them at our website. They're very nice and shiny. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cameron. This week we're here with the Zendikar Commanders, trying to figure out which one of them is going to be the best in CEDH. So we have four decks that I worked on that are probably not very good, but we'll, we'll, we'll get there, you know, together. First one, Tazri Party Time, five color monstrosity that wins with consultation and some infinite mana to get Spellseeker and Thassa's Oracle. Spellseeker can find consultation, or you can just get a Thrasios and draw your whole deck that way. Yasharn Stacks, a deck that can win with Living Plane and Elishnorn, or a Luminarch's Ascension, and it's trying to lock the game up for as long as possible. Layered Omnath, a food chain deck that can also win with Dualcaster Mage and Ghostly Flicker, as well as Dualcaster Mage with Heat Shimmer or Twin Flame. And Zareth Consultation, which is basically a Sig Blue-Black Control Consultation deck that uses Zareth instead. It's not very good, but it's in Blue-Black, so it's basically a CDH deck. Begin! Draw a card. Mana Confluence, cast Elvish Mystic. Pass my turn. Draw for turn. I'm going to play a Wooded Foothills. I will pay one life to crack that immediately. Go grab a Savannah, cast an Arbor Elf. Pass turn. I will draw a Misty Rainforest. Crack the Misty Rainforest to go get a Mr. Grimora. Turn one. Go to my turn. Everyone else's deck is full of creatures, so I don't feel so bad. Mox Diamond. Come on, man. I can draw a card. Talisman. Oh my what God, the fuck Cam. are you doing? Pass. Untap. Draw a card. Exotic Orchard, cast Timna the Weaver. Pass my turn. Draw. Snow Covered Forest, cast a Runic Armor Sword. And pass you. Untap, upkeep, yep. pay one. Draw. Play a Bloodstained Mire. Pass a turn. Uh, discard Brainstorm. Draw for turn. Play Mana Confluence and pass. Draw a card. Let's go to combat. Timna at Cam and Elvish Mystic at Nate. Gain two and lose two. Second main off Timna. Draw two. Play Scalding Tarn, cast a Dockside Extortionist. Three treasures, pass my turn. Draw. Play a Temple Garden, losing two life. Cast Rest in Peace. I draw. Treasures are exiled. Cast a Collector Oof. I'm going to fetch in response. I'll get an Underground Sea. Sacrifice two treasures for a red and a black, and then Collector Oof resolves. Move to Unstep. Before, I will use that two, and this for a Fire Covenant, paying one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight life. That's nasty. Nate, do you want to draw? I will not pay for Mystic. Okay. All right, pay one life, get Stomping Ground, tapped. Untap, upkeep. I will pay for Sticker more and draw a card. I will play Mox Diamond, exiling Yavamaya Coast. Play Aired Mesa for my land for turn. And I'll pass the turn. Draw for turn. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw a card. Play a Bloodstained Mire. Go to combat. Timna at Cam. Dockside at Nate. Elvish Mystic at Tyler. Gain two. Lose three. Draw three cards. Wow, Timna's so good. Let's cast Imperial Seal. I draw a card. Put this card on top of my library. I'll cast a Carpet of Flowers. I draw a card. On top. Draw. Cast a Priest of Titania. And I will pass turn. End of your turn. I will crack my Aaron Mesa. I will get a Temple Garden tapped. I'll keep. I'm going to let this more die. Draw. Play Omnath. I will play Breeding Pool t untapped. I'll just gain two. Cast. Bird's Paradise. I will go to discard. I will discard Elodomery's Call and Mystical Tutor. That can't be right. Discarding those two tutors, that can't be right. I just refuse to believe that discarding Mystical Tutor and Eldamri's Call. You could just get um, Dual Caster Mage and Ghost of Flicker with this or like any number of things. I don't know why, I just feel like that can't be right. No, I agree there. Draw for turn. Play Misty Rainforest and pass. Draw for turn. Main phase one, Carpet of Flowers. Let's make two blue. I'm gonna play a Verdant Catacombs. I'm gonna crack the Verdant Catacombs. I'm gonna also crack the Bloodstained Mire and look for a second land, is that okay? Tropical Islands off of the Verdant Catacombs. Volcanic Island off of the Bloodstained Mire. Let's use that two blue and this exotic orchard and cast a Sigil Tracer. Put a Thassa's Oracle onto the stack. Cast Force of Will, exiling Neoform. I'm gonna respond with a Force of Will, exiling Deadeye Navigator. I'm going to delay your Force of Will, Dylan. Stinking. Okay, my Force of Will is delayed. Yep, that's fine. It gets countered. Nuts! Unfortunately, this Thassa's Oracle isn't in play yet. I was really hoping for it to resolve and have this fight happen over the Demonic Consultation, but my players are at least slightly understanding of how Sigil Tracer works. Being able to tap two wizards to copy a Consultation would be excellent against counter spells, but unfortunately don't quite make it there. And the Thassa's Oracle is getting exiled then. Okay. Also shitty, because when I was building this deck, I wasn't really thinking about what happens if Thassa's Oracle gets exiled. <laughs> don't that's... really have 
a way to win anymore. Yeah, it's not a scenario that always comes up often, but it's I'm gonna link you need up. to be prepared for. I'm gonna link the second version of this deck that I made in which there are at least a couple other win conditions in case <laughs> something like this happens. But with this iteration of the deck, I really can't win anymore. I'm gonna go to combat. I'm gonna send Timna at Cameron and Darkside Extortionist at Tyler. I will gain two off of Timna in my second main. I will lose two and draw two cards. Cast Tazri. Pass turn. Draw. Wooded Foothills. Crack that right away. Just get a Sucker of Force here. Tap this Priest of Titania for two. Cast Yasharn. In response, fetch. One forest, but they're not snow covered planes. Wait, why would you do this? Oh, doesn't that drive you nuts? I don't have <laughs> snow covered planes just laying around like that. I do, but I have to go find them. They're not in the proxy box. All right, I will find a forest and a planes. Those are going to my hand. Cast an Ether Sworn Cannonist. Go ahead. I will draw a card. Play my land for turn. I will gain four life. I'll pass. My turn. Pass. Upkeep. Counter off of Force of Will. Draw a card. Main phase one, two blue mana, play a command tower, one of that blue, one of this green, a red, and a black. Activate Tazri. Six. Shit. Put them at the bottom of your library in a random order. Let's send Timna at Cameron. Tazri is coming at Nate. I'll gain two and then lose two from Timna and draw two cards. Pass my turn. Draw. Play a planes. Move to combat. Dylan, I'm going to come at you with a 4-4. Four four. Tap this elf over here for two. One more. Cast Tangle Wire. Cast a Trinisphere. I'm going to spell pierce it. Yep, that works. Pass the turn. Upkeep, I will tap down four. Draw for turn. Cast Elvish Mystic. I will pass the turn. Tap these four for Tangle Wire. Draw for turn. Pass the turn. I'm going to cast Worldly Tutor in your end step, Cameron. Get a Baron Master Wizard. Put that on the top and go to my turn. Force of Will gets a counter removed from it. Tangle Wire Trigger. Draw my Baron Master Wizard for the turn. I'm going to cast Baron Master Wizard. Yisharn will not let me actually win through this, but I will still cast him. Polluted Delta is land for turn. Go to combat. Tim is coming at you, Cameron. Gain two and lose one and draw a card. Pass my turn. It's kind of crazy how many things Yisharn just shut off. My entire turn yeah. is nothing. Polluted Delta can't be cracked and Baron Master Wizard can't be activated. Yisharn shuts all of that off. So right now, my, my only plays are nothing. My favorite thing about it too is that it shut off all of our mana confluences. Which so we all have out right exactly. now. Exactly. So I'm effectively shut off to four mana at this point. Upkeep. I can remove the feed counter first, I think. Right, that's up to yeah. me. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to remove that. These three things. Draw for turn. Snooker of Forest. Cast a Winter Orb. Cast a Rule of Law. Pass the turn. End of turn. I will Nature's Claim the Winter Orb. Untap. Upkeep. I will tap three and draw. I'll play Lotus Petal. Go ahead. Pass. Tangle Wire. Draw for turn. Pass the turn. After I untap, Force of Will removes all the uh, its final counters and fizzles and can't, doesn't target anything. Whatever. Tap three things for the thing. Tangle Wire. Tap for the Tangle Wire. Draw step. Carpet of Flowers is you still have two islands. Make two white mana. That white mana, I'm going to throw down a Dranith Magistrate. Four six at Tyler and a two two Timna at Cameron. Block. Sure. Gain two and then main phase two. I will lose one and draw one card. <sighs> I'm going to play a tapped hollowed fountain and I will pass my turn. Upkeep. Tangle Wire loses the counter. Those two things. Draw for turn. Flames is my land for turn. Cast the Grand Abolisher and pass the turn. Upkeep. Tap the two. Ooh, draw. Go play. Allosaurus Shepherd. I will attack Tyler for four. I will pass a turn. Here's what I'm paying for Tangle Wire. Go to my draw. Play Underground River as a land for turn. Pass the turn. I am almost at the point where I will be able to start doing things. End step. Uh, I'm going to cast Tainted Pact. Hold priority and tap two mana and two wizards and activate Sigil Tracer's ability to put a second copy of Tainted Pack onto the stack. This is one that's close. All right, first one, I will take Notion Thief and exile all of these cards and then second Tainted Pack on the stack. I will take Dramatic Reversal and Tainted Pact is gone. I can go to my turn. Upkeep, we have a Tangle Wire trigger. Go to my draw. And main phase one, we got still two islands, two blue. Combat, Tazri come at Nate. Timna is gonna come at uh, Cam. I block here. I'll gain two and then lose one of my second main and draw a card. I'm like gonna put out as many combo pieces as I can and just like hope the stacks pieces go away and then later on they'll be live. <laughs> Cast Isochron Scepter. I will imprint a Dramatic Reversal under it, and then I'm going to pass my turn. I only have one Dork. I don't have enough to actually go infinite on it. Untap. One counter off. Tangle Wire down to one. Draw for turn. Cast a Sylvan Safekeeper. Pass the turn. I'm just going to leave this tap. Draw for turn. I will cast Arbor Elf. Pass. Here's my tap tax. Draw for turn. Pass the turn. 
End step, I'm gonna flash in a Notion Thief. Tap, Polluted Delta to the Tangle Wire, and draw for turn. Carpet of Flowers, two blue. I'm gonna go to combat. Nate, I'm gonna come at you with a four, six, and let's go with a two, two, a three, one, a two, two, and these two guys also are coming at you, Cameron. Gain two and then lose two and draw two off to now. I'll cast Yisan, pass my turn. It's literally every commander deck put together. Tangle Wire dies, draw for turn. I'm gonna tap Priest of Titania for one, two, three, four, Right. I'm going to cast Living Plane. I will move to combat. Dylan, I'm going to attack you with two two twos and seven one ones. I'll block two of your one one lands, the ones that are two colors. Take nine. Pass the turn. Draw. I will cast Fint Warden Elves. I will attack Dylan for four. I'm going to cast Red Elemental Blast on it and destroy it. Pass turn. End turn. <sighs> cast Limb Duel's Vault. Oh, dude, all you need to do is windfall, and yeah. Dylan is dead. Is that what I want to do, or do I want to do something else? I feel like you totally want to do that. No matter what, though, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die on a, I'm gonna die on a crack back is what's gonna happen, though. I don't have enough to kill you. Between the two of you guys combined, though. Yeah, but you're not doing enough for either one of us either to be like, oh, let's kill him. You're just saying that? I don't think so. You have literally done nothing this whole game. I have no incentive to kill you because if I do, then I just die to Allosaurus Shepherd swinging three five sides at me every turn. Okay, well, I'll keep number three if that's the case then. What? Uh, what an asshole I am. Go to my turn. Draw for turn. I hate everything about this but I'm going to do it anyway. Cast Windfall. In hindsight, I definitely got talked into the play that I made. I will cast a Swan Song. I will hold priority. Oh, I didn't leave enough wizards untapped. Shit. Those are the kind of stupid mistakes where like, if I just would have played this game a couple, if I would have played this deck a couple times before this, I would have realized, oh, I don't need to attack with my wizards. I can, you double Swan Song is good. You don't think about that. Return it to your hand. Yep, Swan Song is returned to my hand. Windfall on the stack. I can't cast any more spells. So we all discard our hands. And the most is six. So that's 12, 24 cards. I will discard these and exile them. You guys don't draw any cards. I draw 24. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Dead pass. Yeah. Untap, draw, cast my commander. I'm gonna search for a plains and a forest. Let's go to my hands. I'm gonna play a plains for turn. You can't cast it. I wasn't going to cast anything else, Nathan. Pass, yeah. Draw. Play Omnath. Draw. Play land for turn. Gain four. Pass. Cast Arcane Signet. Pass. Draw. Move to combat. I'm going to swing your Sharon at you, Nate. It's like main. I'm going to pay two and cast a Sphere of Resistance. Pass the turn. Yeah. This game is a train wreck. Nice. Spellseeker. Finale of Devastation. Pass the turn. Draw for turn. Cast Zareth San the Trickster. Pass. I know all of the cards that I'm drawing, and it just makes us even more painful at this point and the more that i sat here and the more that i looked at cards like thought sees the more i realized you don't listen to what the other players are saying <laughs> they don't want the same thing as you after turn play kevin or souls naming boar move to combat neat i'm going to attack you with these three creatures and these seven one ones all right i will block you short 11 pass the turn Untap, upkeep, draw. Cast Omnath. Draw card. Pass the turn. Pass. I'm the control deck. This is where I want to be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tap Priest for four, nine. I'm going to recast my commander. The force is going to my hand. I will then play it as my land for turn. I will pass the turn. Okay. I'm going to gain four life. Pay six for Al Sword Shepherd. Tenet Tyler. Pass. Draw for turn. Thought sees targeting Nate. It is a reveal. Oh, take finale of devastation. Take that. Exile it now. Pass the turn. Draw. Play a flooded strand. I'm fucked if I just keep getting hit with big L's each turn. Pass turn. Okay, I'll draw. Alright, I'm gonna try to transmute this. Drift of Phantasm. I'll pass. Three mana for a Demir Signet. Pass. We got there. In your end step. I'm gonna cast an Aladdin Reese. Yeah! Yes! Yes! All right, the end is near. I'm gonna find an Elish Norn and put that into my hand. Untap. Keep draw. I will play a land for turn. It's a mana confluence. That's great. I'm gonna generate four green here. Cast Elish Norn. It gets rid of everything but Omnath. Yeah. And it exiles them. This is entertainment. I'm coming at you, Nate, with Yasharn and. Um, Cameron, I am coming at you with these um, seven creatures. Well, I'm still gonna block one. I'm blocking. We, I'm dead. Pass you. Um, 
pass. I'm gonna kill you like, dead. You're dead. You're dead. Da, 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 da. Attack you with everything. Since I built this Yasharn deck, I'm very excited that it actually won with Living Plane and Elishnorn. I feel like that's one of those combos that you always hear people talk about, but you never actually see it get to do that and get yeah, that there's victory. There's so few decks that run that, those, those two cards at all. It's my favorite part about this deck is that that win condition is, I think, actually very good. I, albeit mm. very slow. It's a lot of mana, obviously, of the course of many turns, but I think that game was a good game of showing that this deck, Yasharn is pretty good at slowing the game down. Very good, yeah. And Yasharn is going to be able to power you out to the late game by letting you hit your land drops consistently, yeah. no matter, especially if Yasharn is dealt with over and over again. Because right. Yasharn does have a target on his back when players are, you know, in situations where they need to be able to pay life for something. Here's the thing that happens with color combinations like this, is that, like we've seen with Goto before, if you're playing a deck that plays a weird combination that people have a, a misconception about, yeah. they're not going to pay the same attention to it like they should. And instead, we're going to see a five-color Tazri deck that really has no win conditions yeah. start to get hated on a little bit more. Just because I have all the... Oh my... I have a board full of combinations yeah. Pieces. So, but and people look at Yasharn and go, oh, whatever. Stax? Yeah. I don't need to attack him. Yeah, I, I think that's one of Stax's biggest advantages. Like No the, black either. The, yeah, the devil's so. greatest trick was to convince you it didn't exist. Like, Stax's greatest yeah. strength is to convince you it's not very good. And then you don't give it credit, and then it whoops you on turn 12 every time. Yeah, well, we're going to pay attention to it this time. <laughs> Turn. I'm gonna play a Wooded Foothills, crack that right away, and go grab a Savannah. And I will use Savannah to cast a Finhorn else, and say go. I will draw. I will play a Trap and a Soul Ring. I'll pass a turn. I'll cast Cataxium Probe, targeting Nate. Uh, he's got mostly land. Draw Morphic Pool into Mana Vault, pass. Draw a card. Flooded Strand, crack. Get a Tropical Island, cast Mystic Remora. Come on! Nice. Pass turn. Draw for turn. Play a windswept teeth. I will crack windswept teeth right away. Untap Temple Garden. All right, Temple Garden. Cast a carpet flowers. Target Dylan. One white. Cast a Thalia Garden of Three Bin. Cast a Birds of Paradise and say pass. Cool. Thalia. Pass. Draw for turn. Reflecting pool. Pass. Draw card. Scrubland. Death Rite Shaman. Elves of Deep Shadow. Pass. Draw. First mean. I am gonna. Target Dylan with Carpet Flowers and generate one green mana. I'm gonna use it to cast a Boreal Druid. Cast my commander. In response, I will sack. Forest Plains. Let's go to hand. Play Forest as my land for turn. I'm gonna move to combat. Dylan, I'm gonna come at you with a 2 1 first strike. Pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep, I will draw. Ristic Study. In response to Ristic Study, I'm gonna flash in Zareth. Alright, I'll play Stomping Ground and pass turn. Take a damage. Play Cephalid Colosseum for turn, swing at Dylan. No. I'll take four. I would like to get your Mystic Remora. Thank you. So we get to see what Zareth Sand does. Zareth Sand takes great advantage of the early uh, advantage pieces that people just end up taking, just killing. Yeah. And then that way you get them for free because your commander has flash on turn three. When building Zareth, this was the dream, right? This Some, is the somebody dream. Else. Especially with a Mana Vault. Oh, yeah. Mana Vault is the way that this deck just really pumps up. Gets power. it out early. But, like, especially, like, the dream of, like, somebody else casting a turn one fish mm -hmm. and it being misstepped, and then you get to take that fish. That's, that's like, that's why you play this that deck. That was for that play. Perfect. That feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. I will pass the turn. Draw card. Tyler, I'm going to exile your land with Death Rite Shaman to make a boom. Which one, Dylan? You're... I didn't see the You need to state your targets clearly. Windswift. <laughs> Windswift teeth. Uh, exile. Damn it. Make a blue mana. Cast a soul ring for two mana. Can I draw? I will not pay for Cameron's. Pay for the Ristic Study and cast Ghostly Pilfer. I will use the extra from soul ring so you cannot draw a card. Pass. Draw. Play a Bountiful Promenade. Move to combat. Dylan. Yes. I'm going to swing at you with these two creatures. Oh, that's six damage. 26 is my new life total. And I love it. Pass the turn. I will play my land for turn and I will pass the turn. The end of your turn, I am going to cast two mana Thought Scour. I'm going to mill over Nate. Can I draw? I am going to pay for your six study. Draw. Go to my turn. Damage. And it's fine. Here, it dies. I feel like you shouldn't let it die. Why would you let it die? Because if I attack him again, I can just get it back. Why? If you do pay for it, then you get to get a land into play, which is going to make up for the land you lose paying for it. Um, Let me make my mistakes on my own. Draw for turn. Underground C. Go to combat. Attack Dylan. No blocks. I'll take the thing back. Cast a music that pain for a six study. Pass. Draw a card. Stinking fetch land. 
Misty Rainforest. So Carpet of Flowers costs two mana, and I'll use the extra here from Soul Ring to pay for Ristic Study. I cannot pay for Mystic Remora. Thank you. I'm gonna go to combat. I'm gonna send this two at you, Cameron. Second main, Carpet of Flowers. I'll target Nate to make two white. I'll exile your land, Nate. There's that two white, two, three, four mana. Cast Tazri. Pay one life so that you may not draw a card. Pass turn. In and step. Cast Nature's Claim targeting Rhystic Study. Ooh. Can I draw? Don't you fucking touch that. No, you may not. <laughs> can I draw? No! I'm going to counter it. Oh, can I draw? Seven for a Nature's Claim. Draw for turn. I am going to play a Command Tower. Move to combat. Cameron, I am going to swing at you for a total of eight. Pass the turn. Upkeep. We'll draw. Oh, cast. Miss Holographer. Pass. Lose life. Dies. We discard a Narset Part of Reveals because there's just no time for her in this game. Uh, I will untap Ghostly Pilfer and I'm going to pay two to draw a card when I do that and I'll draw for turn. Main phase one, Carpet of Flowers is going to make me two mana probably. Two blue. Exile your land, Nate, for a black. Activate Tazri. Look at the top six. I'm going to get a Baron Master Wizard. It's a wizard. Baron Master Wizard counts as a wizard. Let's go to combat. I'm going to send Ghostly Pilfer at Tyler. 2-1. Yeah. Shotgun a Hollowed Fountain. Pass my turn. Draw. I will play a Planes. In first main, I'm going to generate two blue. I'm going to cast a Mox Diamond using one of the blue to pay for it. May I draw a card? No! And I'll discard a Prismatic Vista. I'm going to move to combat. Nate, I'm going to swing at you for four. Pass the turn. Draw. Utopia Sprawl. Chalka Island. Naming white. Pass the turn. End of your turn. Cast Notion Thief. Pain for a six study. Good my turn. Cast Demonic Tutor. I'm going to pass the turn. Draw a card. Main phase one. We got two islands. Let's make two white. Play a command tower. Taz reactivation. Find Grand Abolisher. Is a cleric. Cast Grand Abolisher. Pass my turn. Draw for turn. First main, generate two white with carpet of flowers. Cast an idyllic tutor. Search for an enchantment card. Get Luminarch Ascension. Cast this Luminarch Ascension. Pass the turn. Keep all draw. Oh, I'm attacking Dylan. Fuck you! Counter. Draw for turn. Thassa's Oracle. Its abilities on the stack currently. Demonic Consultation. So if anyone can get rid of Yasharn, I have a Dovin's Veto. I would be able to use my fetch land and cast Dovin's Veto. I shouldn't have cast that Grand Abolisher then, I guess. Hard cast Force of Will. Ah, well, I will cast Force of Will, paying a mana, a life, and exiling a Snapcaster. And you paid one life? Wow, that's pretty good. Wow, okay. So, Yasharn. Yasharn cuts off Force of Will. <laughs> Yasharn cuts off the free Force of Will. I even left up a mana to pay with uh, with Thalia here. Cuts um, off a lot. I know this isn't a regular CDH metagame. Obviously, this is a gimmicky thing of best end of card deck. So Yasharn may not be as good in the wild as, a good, as it is good here. But these are all CDH cards that Yasharn is shutting off. Things like Force of Will, Fetch Lands. Treasures. And, and Treasures. And those are like common parts of some of the best decks in the format. That sucks. Okay, so that's counter. Das's Oracle trigger. One, two, three, four. So I get to look at the top four. Okay, I'll put one on the top. Attack, Tyler. I will block with Boreal Druid. Okay, pass. Draw card. Let's go to combat. Tazri's coming at Tyler. Blocks? Sure. Second main phase, we got two islands over there. We'll make two black. With one black still floating, activate Tazri. Find a Timna. Timna into my hand. Cast Imperial Seal. Discard. Put it on top of my library and pass my turn. Play a land for turn and pass the turn. Draw for turn. Attack Dylan for three. Go ahead. Draw for turn. I'm going to cast an Imperial Seal of my own. Go to combat. Attack Dylan. I'm going to put Ghostly Pilfer in front of Zareth. Pass. In your end step. Activate Luminarch Ascension four times. Draw card. Main phase one. Let's add two black mana. Cast Timna. All right, I'll go to combat. Tazri is coming at Nate, and Elves of Deep Shadow and Deathrite Shaman are coming at Cameron. I'm going to put Thassa's Oracle in front of Elves of Deep Shadow. Sure. So take four and take one, elves dies. I take two in my second main phase and draw two cards. Tap temple garden, pass. Draw, land for turn. Move to combat. Three angels at Dylan and one angel and one Yasharn at Cam. I'll block Yasharn, take four. I'll die. I had the dramatic reversal ice ground scepter. Again, two games in a row, but not enough ways to actually go off with it because these are not, I can't go forever on those. Damn, dead. 
What lost me in this game was that Grand Abolisher. If I had mm. not cast that and held up Dovin's Veto on, and actually cast it on the Luminarch's Ascension, I think that should have been the play. That's what I should have gone for. Um, but I just, I have a grip full of counter spells and can't do anything against a whole bunch of angels. Second main, I will generate huh, two, two. Um, with Carpet of Flowers and use it to make another angel. Here we go. And tap a cube draw. I'll pass. End of your turn. A petty theft targeting Yasharn. Yep, that'll resolve. Uh, this is on an adventure, Charlie. It was a life. Incredibly scary situation that we're in. I don't think anything that I'm going to do is going to matter in the long run. Time twister. Yeah, I'll get 21 cards. I can still, like, try to slaughter pact your Thalia. I can cast Mox Diamonds, and it's, like, net positive mana now. But even then, even in the most amount of mana I'd be able to have is four. I'm just going to go to discard. Go ahead. In your end step, I will pay 10 mana to generate five additional angels. Here's the thing, it doesn't even matter if he has no cards in hand, because him having no cards in hand does not stop him. Actually, it incentivizes him to put it all into 4-4 four, four angels. Right, yeah, I, I, this is definitely a deck that, this very similar thing happened in game one, where yeah. it doesn't matter if he gets Hellbent at the right time, if he deploys his threats in play, Hellbent doesn't mean anything. His yeah, hand exactly. is on the table, his 4-4 four, four angels, that's his hand. So he's already hand, interacting that way. He's already there, so yeah. when you get rid of hands, what you really do is kind of shut Nate out entirely. Entirely, and and now and now Tyler has the game. Basically, I was hoping I'd be able to draw something else. Like if I have something else that's gonna allow me to try to you know win the game, you know either this turn or next turn from there, I'm gonna yeah. you know be able to draw for turn. Cameron, I'm gonna swing five four four angels at you and five four four angels at me. All right, great. I'm dead. All right, I will block one, and I'll take sixteen. That's you. Draw. Tell you on that. Nope. You're good. Go ahead. I'll, you know, make a zillion more angels. Drop for turn, move to combat, attack you with a zillion more angels. Small sample size, but I think a really good showing of Yasharn. I think there's promise here. Yasharn does a really good job of specifically shutting off Dockside Extortionist. I think that's the biggest one. Shutting off Dock, that's the biggest card in the format right that now. That is one of the heaviest played cards. You're absolutely right. And just being able to have your commander deal with any win condition involving that. That's pretty good. That's something. Pretty good, yeah. Super cool showing. As far as the Tazri deck, I revisited that one as well. It needed a couple more win conditions. I decided I wanted to go the route of using as many Timna effects as I could, rather than ad nauseum effects, and try to gain control of card advantage on the board that way. Party seems interesting. There are, it certainly turned out to be a lot more relevant party creatures than I expected there to be. Um, and especially being in five colors, it really allows you to maximize on the good ones that you want to play too. Right, the real um, question- But at the same time, you're really just, you know, shoving together a bunch of good creatures. Like, is it is that good? Like, that, that lowers the amount of interaction that you can have. Right. Yeah. Um, um, Timna's in the main deck. You're, you, you don't have your Timna effect in the command zone. In the command zone, and once you do get your commander out, uh, it, it's a big dumb 4-6 that can sometimes get you an extra card. I think the big question is probably going to come down to, for the future, is this better than Kenrith? And I think 9 times out of 10, that answer will be no. Kenrith is just much, much better. Xerath San is not a good CEDH card, and you should not play this card in any deck. Absolutely not. We chose Xerath specifically because it was a blue-black legend, and I am in the firm belief that if you are in blue-black and playing CEDH, doesn't matter what your commander is, you're good. It's well, fine. we were we were almost wrong this time. Yeah. Um, I did get to combo. I did, I did not get to resolve the combo. Right, yeah, no. you went for it. I think if you're going for a blue-black consultation, I think right now Kells is your best bet. Kells is good. Initially, I thought Omneth was going to be the deck that was going to dominate. It, it seemed Agreed. like the, the initial powerhouse. This list, the Omneth list that I went with is a very layered list. There's a lot of different combo options, but not a ton of ways to protect and get there. That may be wrong going forward. I just, I couldn't decide between Ghostly, Flicker, and Dual Caster Mage, and Dual Caster Mage with Twin Flame, and Twin Flame working with Dockside is pretty good, and also the Fu Chin is there. So there was a lot of win conditions, and I figured if these win conditions would kind of layer up on top of each other, it would make uh, a deck that was pretty resilient through, thrust, through Stacks Pieces. But I think what may have happened instead was just a little bit too much clunkiness. Um, either that or the Stacks Pieces just kind of locked Nate out at the right time. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us directly, you can do so on Patreon. Patreon. Check out our awesome Food Chain Wins Games shirts as well as our original Play to Win logo shirts available here at our Bonfire store. If you'd like to pick up any of the cards that you saw today, we have a TCG Player affiliate link down below that helps out the channel. You can still get some tokens if you donate to Black Lives Matter. Send us your receipt to playtowinmtg at gmail.com. We'll ship them right out to you. And we have a podcast. You can find it on iTunes and Spotify. And the website. Please check out playtowinmtg.com. 
for all of your play to win needs. You can get a play mat there. We sh the new batch should be there by the time this video goes up. So I'm gonna leave this part of the video in. You can buy a play mat. Come get them while they're hot. Thanks.